Okay, this is the second part of looking at a nominal binomial analysis. Um, in the first part, we had conducted frequencies for each of our variables and then we coded. And when uh, we checked, I uh, checked the frequencies now for the recoded God variable, and we now have uh, just the two categories. In order to conduct a um, cross tab analysis and chi squared, uh, get the chi squared and find same as v. We go analyze descriptive statistics cross tab, and I've put gender and God uh, into the boxes here. Make sure it's God recoded. These could be the other way around, it's arbitrary which one goes uh, in which. Uh, box. I'm going to click on display clustered bar chart which uh, will save me for the moment at least going through the graphs menu separately to draw a bar graph. In statistics I've checked on chi-squared and checked on phi and same as v. So continue, paste and run. I get two tables from a chi-squared analysis. First of all, this is my contingency table or cross-tab table. It contains cell uh, frequencies here, so the number of males who believe in God, who don't believe, females who believe and don't believe. We have the marginal totals here which are just the univariate frequencies for number of males and females collapsed across uh, God and these are the univariate frequencies for the number of believers and non-believers and this is the, the full sample size. In the second table we have the chi-squared which I'll come back to in a moment because I'm more interested at this point to see a graph which illustrates those cell frequencies. And uh, this indicates a similar pattern for males and females. However, it would appear that uh, female in the female group there is slightly greater proportion of believers than non-believers. The question really is, is that uh, could that have occurred by chance or is that a strong enough uh, strong enough theme that we would reject the idea that there is no relationship between the variables and um, assume that there is a relationship. So returning here to the chi-squared, this gives us our significance test and I would write this as uh, chi-squared 1 comma 127 for the degrees of freedom change them here and here equals value here 0 0.10 which is quite small because for this number of degrees of freedom a chi squared of 3.8 or higher would be the critical value uh, and that can be found from a chi squared table the Pulp's P level of obtaining this kind of relationship is 0.76 or we could write this as greater than our critical value and that is uh, clearly non-significant. The final piece of information that we want is what is the correlation which in this case is going to be phi because we've just got a 2 by 2 analysis and we can find that value uh, down here and that's it there. So uh, I will write in here phi equals 0 0.03. The sign is arbitrary. So as long as we explain that um, uh, females are slightly 